In this video, we're going to have a look at how to apply the rules of differentiation and how to find the gradient at a point on the curve. So let's just review what we found for the general rule for differentiation. So if we've got a function, y equals some constant a, x to the power n, then dy dx is equal to a, and then we multiply it by n, x to the power n minus 1. So that's our general rule. Now, we've got some vocabulary here. We, we talk about differentiating, so, so to differentiate, that's to find dy dx. We could also say find the derivative, means the same thing. And we also say find the gradient function. And we've got another notation. So we sometimes use this function notation instead of y. So if we say f of x is a x to the power n, then the derivative is f dashed x. So f dashed x is equal to a n x to the power n minus 1. And you can use either of these notations. So let's look at an example. So we're going to find dy dx, and we're given this function here. So 3x to the power 4 plus 4x plus 4. So dy dx is differentiating the first component. That's 3 times 4, x to the power n minus 1, which would be 4 minus 1 which is 3. So we've got 3 times 4x to the power 3. And if we can differentiate one component, it would also be OK to differentiate all three components together. So we do the next component. So 4x to the power 1 takes us to 4x to the power 0. And we know that x to the power 0 is 1. So 4 times 1 is 4. And just simplifying this first term here, so 3 times 4 is 12, x cubed plus 4. So next example is when we've got negative powers and fraction powers. And it works in exactly the same way, so we can use the same rules for differentiation. So y is dy dx for the gradient function. First component is minus 1 times 3, x to the n minus 1, which is, I'll just write um, minus 1 x to the minus 1 minus 1, plus 4 times a half, x to the power minus a half, because a half minus 1 is minus a half, plus 4, times minus 1.5 x to the power minus 2.5 because minus 1.5 minus 1 is minus 2.5 and if we simplify those that just gives us minus x to the power minus 2 and then next one would be 4 times a half is 2 so that's 2 x to the power minus a half and then the last one is 4 times minus 1.5 is minus 6, so that's minus 6, x to the power, minus 2.5. Our next example is a case where we are probably better if we can try and simplify this or put it into index form, and then it's easier to differentiate. So the first component is 5 over x squared is 5x to the minus 2. And the root x is the power a half, so plus x to the power a half. And then we can differentiate in the usual way. So 5 times minus 2 is minus 10. Minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3. And this would be a half times x to the power n minus 1 which is a half minus one is minus a half.
asking the, different, the question in a slightly different way. So find the gradient function. So with these ones, we're going to have to simplify the function before we think about differentiating. So let's expand the brackets here. So x squared times x cubed from our laws of indices is x to the power 5, so 2 plus 3. And then we've got minus 8 x squared times x, which is x cubed. And then we're ready to differentiate that one. So we use the other notation. So let's do f dashed x. And that would be 5x to the power n minus 1, which is 4. And 3 times 8 is 24. And then n minus 1, 3 minus 1 is 2. So we've got minus 24x squared. Question B, again we're going to simplify that, put it into our component terms. So let's do that the first term, so that would be 2x over x squared, which is 2x to the power minus 1. And then we've got plus 1 over x squared, which is plus x to the power minus 2. And then we can differentiate that. So f dashed x, minus 1 times 2 is minus 2, x to the power n minus 1, which is x to the power minus 2, and then that's minus 2, x to the power minus 3. So we're going to look at some questions where we're going to actually find a numerical gradient at a given point, and then where we're given the gradient, find the value of x. So the first example, we've got the, the, the function y equals 20x to the 4 plus 4x to the half. And we want to find the gradient, the numerical gradient, when x is 1. So whenever we're finding the gradient, we always need to differentiate. So dy dx. Uh, the first one is 4 times 20, which is 80x cubed plus a half times 4 is 2, and then x to the power minus a half. So when x is 1, we're going to substitute 1 into dy dx. So that's 80 times by 1 cubed plus 2 times 1 to the power minus a half. And that's just 80 plus 2 which is 82. So that's the gradient. So it's 82 is the gradient when x is 1. And the next example, we're given this function here. So y equals 4 over x squared plus x. We asked to find the value of x when the gradient is 0. So finding the gradient function. So this would be 4x to the power minus 2. So that would be minus 8 x to the power minus 3, which is minus 8 over x cubed, and the x to the power 1 goes to x to the power 0, which is just plus 1. So, minus 8 over x cubed plus 1 is equal to 0, and therefore, just rearranging that a little bit, we've got 1 equals x over 8 over x cubed, and then Bringing the x cubed over, we've got x cubed equals 8. So taking the cube root, that gives us x equals 2. So when the gradient is 0, we've got x equals 2.